Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.23.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this support for the higher order conditionals for the storage disk or any other thing. So let me show you that. I am currently here using the user model. Whatever that uses when condition or conditionable trait, you can just use it. So before, if we wanted to get the user with a type of normal based on some condition, then we would do it like this. You can see here the query look like this. In here is a condition, the true or false, and then we had to pass a closer. And inside the closer, we would get this query and we would just do the where condition. This is exactly the object that is returned after this one. So if I run this, then I'll get this select all from users where type is question mark. It is just showing the binding, which is actually normal. But now we can easily do it like this, which will be very, very short for us. This when we'll just use the higher order proxy. So instead of this one, we can now write this. We don't have to write any closure, just pass this. In the when, we should only pass the condition and then we give arrow. Here it will return the higher order proxy of the when, which will in turn call this method on this user query. So here type normal. And if I run, then it will give us the same results over here. Yes, there is both upside and downside for this. So here, let's say we want to do some calculation and find this value, then we cannot do it over here. We had to do it outside. But here we can do that inside the condition. That might be the downside of this, but you can obviously use this if you don't want any calculation inside a closure. So let me comment this thing now. The second thing that has been added is this where not method to the fluent JSON testing matters whenever you are testing then you can now use where not whenever you are asserting the json data let me just uncomment this out suppose let's say we have this as a response and we are using this assertable json from array so the data is like this or the response from an api is like this and we can just check if assert has data these are all the previous things that were added and it has two like you can see here there are two data so it is just checking that and i am just looping through each one of these and i am just asserting that json where not id this id and function we need to pass a closer over here and value is equals to two it is just checking that id doesn't have a value of two now if i run this then you can see here it is obviously throwing an error and whenever you are writing the test it will fail the test and you will see the same message on your terminal but if I write here, let's say three and run, then it will pass the test and you can just see the assertable JSON instance being shown over here. The third and the final thing that has been added is this command, new command, which is PHP artisan docs. With this command, you can easily find almost whatever you want in the Laravel documentation just from your project terminal. Okay, let me just open the project over here. Yeah, of course, it is in the white theme. Many of you like me to use black theme whenever I am making some videos, but I often use white theme. So let me just do this over here because it is just a terminal. So PA is a PHP artisan and the name of the command is docs. If I just hit enter over here, then we'll see a bunch of things over here. You can see all the things that are present in the Laravel. And now if I just hit up and down key, then you can just go through each and everything that you want. Or you can just type, let's say validation and hit enter. Then it will automatically open the validation documentation. And it is not only limited to this. There are so many other features also. Let's say PHP artisan docs BA then also it will open the validation because the validation starts from VA. And suppose let's say we want to dive into any other rules, available validation rules. Okay, let's say unique from here, okay? So I'll just do VA, UN, and it will automatically get me this rule, unique. And you can see here, unique table and table column. It has automatically shown me this. And if you look here in the full request, then you can see a video over here. And you can just watch this video as well. I'll be leaving the link of all these pull requests just below that like button. And one bonus tip for you guys. If you don't want to use this command or you are not into the command or terminal and want to use the UI in order to go to the documentation of the Laravel, then you can easily install a PS Code extension and do that. Let me show you over here and install and Laravel. Then you can just go over here. It's over here in the Laravel docs and it is by Austin Cameron. 
just download it and then just hit command shift p or control shift p and type laravel then you will see all the things that you want from the laravel obviously it is not as powerful as the terminal one but you can easily go to each and every page of the documentation so let's say you want to go to pagination then you can just type here pagination and hit enter then it will just take you to the pagination